in this video i'll talk about another uh, machine learning algorithm uh, what is known as normal equation algorithm the algorithm is used to do the same uh, to, to do the same thing that uh, the gradient descent algorithm does the algorithm can be used to find out the uh, regression parameters so uh, <coughs> the best thing about this algorithm is that the algorithm this algorithm gives you the solution without any iteration so we don't use any iteration to find out the solution we rather find the solution directly with uh, with just one step uh, it gives the uh, solution if x is a matrix of uh, inputs and y uh, is output it, it it has output data and x has input data and this is in matrix form then the set of theta or the set of all parameters can be given by the following equation this equation the equation that you can see on the screen where i i have my pointer so theta is nothing but x transpose x and then take the inverse multiplied by x transpose y well x is the data set having all the input variables and y is the data set having the output variable if you use this equation you will be able to find out the set of theta or the set of parameters directly without having to go for any iteration this is very simple but the only difficulty is that if you have too many variable this is going to be a bit slow which is the only issue uh, another advantage of this algorithm is that we don't need any feature scaling unlike gradient descent where we need to do the feature scaling to uh, make sure that the algorithm run first we don't need to uh, do any feature scaling here so here is the solution right when you plot your cost function we get the solution here generally in iteration we start somewhere here or somewhere here and then slowly slowly we come down down and reach here if you have chosen a wrong scaling parameter which is alpha what happens is that probably we will have start here if it is alpha is very large or fairly large we will go here go there and chances are that uh, we will we'll never end up reaching at this bottom or it, the algorithm might not convert so that's a risk that's a risk with the gradient descent algorithm whereas in normal uh, equation algorithm you directly get to the point you directly go, go get to the bottom of uh, the minimum value of the uh, cost function without having to go for any iteration so uh, the basic differences between the gradient descent and normal algorithm are like this in gradient descent we need a alpha we need a, uh, a conversion uh, converging uh, uh, parameter um, and that needs to be suitable okay um, you know sometime if you choose a very uh, uh, high alpha then it might not uh, convert whereas normal equation we don't need any alpha uh, the gradient descent uh, the uh, gradient descent requires uh, iteration but normal regression doesn't require any uh, iteration so that's an advantage but there is a disadvantage also if the number of variables or the number of input variables input data uh, you have too many variables okay in, in the order of hundreds thousands or ten ten thousand variables you have then the gradient descent still works fine but in normal equation algorithm it's very difficult to uh, to invert a matrix 
and take a in uh, transpose of a matrix having 10,000 variables and even to multiply the matrices. So it's very slow. So if the n is very large in excess of 100 or 1000 variables, it's very difficult to use the normal equation uh, algorithm. So uh, ideally we should prefer the normal equation algorithm if we have uh, less number of variables, less than 100 or 500 variables. Anything more than that, gradient descent algorithm should be preferred. So that's about the normal equation algorithm.